Hi guys, Tex back here with another video review and this time we're looking at the Barago 132 scale Volkswagen Golf Mark 1 GTI. Um, I've got this because I tried finding um, the 118 scale one or I can't really find one that I really like. Uh, but yeah, I've got this from a local mod shop. Um, yeah, it's Barago Street Classics 132. Quick look at the box. Um, it's a licensed product, so yeah. Um, I just I, I've always liked this the, the Mark One GTI. I don't know why. I just like it. The shape and everything looks cool, and it looks good in red. So yeah. So and it cost me twelve pounds, if you can see it. So we'll just uh, get it out of its box. Oh, Diecast as well. Let's get it opened up and see what it's like. And here it is, out of its box. <coughs> And uh, I've got to say, it's not the most detailed uh, 132 model, but it's pretty good. It comes with a stand, it's screwed to the stand like most of them. Uh, this one's screwed to two, um, but yeah, it just sits to the stand. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, I just like this shape, I don't know why, I just like it. Um, so, I'll get off its stand. It rolls nice, really nice. It's got like hard rubber tyres. On it, which is really cool. Um, the front, not much detail on the grill. It's just painted. We can you can just about see the lines for the grill, the lights. Um, it does have a red strip round it, just because it's hidden by the, the actual red. You got the license plate, which is GT GTI 1979. Uh, underneath, it's just basic. You got some moldy stuff here. Volkswagen Gold Mark 1 GTI, one thirty school made in China. There's a number thing, Barago. There's the back, Golf GTI. It looks, I just I don't know, I just look like the shape of this car, it just looks pretty cool. Um size comparisons. The other thing I've got to hand is the box halo. Uh Warthog. So yeah. You can get the size. No. Um, but it scales to the uh, 32. Here's Jensen Button's car, uh, 132 scale, towards the car, so I uh, think it's okay. Um, I've noticed some model companies, their uh, scales are all different. If you get a 132 scale from another company, a 132 for another, the, the differences are slight. I've mentioned it in a couple of, uh, I think two videos, this my Vanquish and another one, uh, but yeah, um, there you go, there's the size of the Formula 1 car, so yeah, um, I just like this, you can, it comes in all the colours, silver, blue, yellow, black, but I just like the red one, I just like it, it looks really cool, um, actually I wouldn't mind owning one of these. But yeah, look pretty cool. The other thing that does is the doors open up. That's it. Um, really, I think it was just built for uh, kids. Um, you got steering wheel pedals, seats, and then not much detail. And you got some. Well, it's not pin painted properly in there, but it's basically a type for a kit. Um, yeah, really cool. Door mirrors are actually not plastic; they're actually die cast. It's all die cast. The whole body is anyway. Yeah. Uh, should you pick this up? Um, if you're going to pick one of these up, I'd pick the a little bit better, probably from Auto Art. This size, you can get a 180 scale version of this, but I haven't seen one that I really like. Um, I can't see if there's an Auto Art version of it, but yeah, you've got the fuel cap there. Yeah, but most of it, uh, it's all. The spray, you can see the office spray on it a lot, but hey, it's a toy for a kid, it's not actually a real, you can collect these, but I just wanted one of these, so yeah. Yeah, yeah pick this up, um, if you really want it, um, if you really like this guy, try and get another one to steel scale, I just wanted one, cheap enough, that's all, so yeah. This is text part, so don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, thanks for watching guys. See you later.